Welcome to this help video overview of the Alamy Image Manager. We're going to run you through a few of the main features of the tool. Here we are on the main screen uh, when you log in and on the left hand side here we can view our submissions. In the center is where the images are displayed and on the right hand side is where we can add and review information. So everything's in one place to keep things nice and simple. Uh, we can browse um, the various submissions by clicking through the options on the left and it will show us those images that are associated with that particular submission. Um, within the uh, images themselves we can click on them and on the right hand side we can review the information associated with that image including the discoverability values. We have a mandatory tab uh, for information that has to be added to the images and the optional tab where we can add restrictions including setting uh, options for editorial only sales and including the number of people and the property information of the image. At the top of the middle section of the tool um, we have various filters that help you narrow down um, the selection of images you get in the center um, and this can be useful if you have lots of images um, uh, within a submission that you need to narrow down to find certain ones. And you can also keyword search to find images too. So to take you just through um, one of the main features of the tool would be to add tags to your images. Um, the new um, options that are available within the Alamy Image Manager make this um, a far more streamlined process than ever before. And if we could take this set of images here as an example, um, the images of a shipwreck on Fraser Island in Australia. Now we have a set of images here from uh, the same shoot. And we can select them by clicking on them either individually or um, we can click and drag to select them. Or we can hold shift and select the first image of the series up to the last and that will mean that we're working on eight images all at once. And from here we can add tags to those, uh, to those images that we've selected and we can remove tags as well. So looking at the, the basic tags we've already added within these images, I can see that we might want to add the tag shipwreck. As simple as that, that single tag has been added across all of those images. We can hit save and that's now been applied. Equally, if we want to just remove a single tag from those images, um, that's very easy to do so as well. Um, I can see that the tag seaweed in here probably isn't relevant. Um, so it's very easy just to see that tag there, delete it, save, and now that tag has been removed from each one of those images. It keeps things very simple um, and very streamlined. The other thing we can do is we can look at which tags are common across images um, and which are not. So if we take this, these two images here as an example of salt flats in Bolivia, clearly taken um, from the same shoot at the same time of day, um, this image has these tags associated with it and this image within the set just has the, these three tags. Now obviously the first image we've selected um, is tagged much more thoroughly and better and being that they're um, very similar images we'd like them to have the same tags. So to do that it's very simple. We just select both images and we can now see that the, the tags that are common between these two images are in dark navy blue. Um, so we have Adventure, Salt Flats and Bolivia. And these are the tags that are already associated with these two images. The tags in grey are tags that appear in at least one other of these images and as we've only selected two we know it's this one. Um, and it's very simple to make these common we just click on the tag and remember the navy blue represents the fact that these tags are now associated with all images in the selection. Just save that. And now if we were to look at each image individually, 
we can see that they both have the same tags. Um, so very simple to do. The other thing we can do very easily is assign super tags to images, either individually or as a group. Um, and to do that, it's just a question of identifying the tags that we want to make super and clicking the star. And the blue star um, indicates that that tag has been made into a super tag and you can have a maximum of 10 per images. Super tags um, are seen by the search engine with extra priority. So um, you should assign super tags just to those tags that you feel are the most relevant and most important to those images. Um, and you can, like I say, you can add a maximum of 10 per image. And here we're just going to add 10 super tags to these two images that we're working on as a set. Click save. And now that's been saved. There's some other options towards the top of the tool, which allow us to change the view. This can give us more images on the page at once. And we can also expand the right hand side to make that area bigger for when we're adding information. We can also manage our pseudonyms and releases. And using this button here, we can upload more images. I hope that helps. Um, for any other questions you've got about how the tool works, please uh, make sure you download the PDF instructions. We've provided a link in the description. And there's also a link in the help section here. Um, failing that, you can always email the team contributors at alamy.com and they'll be happy to help with any questions you have. Many thanks.